Yes. Yes. Be routine minded. Yes. You can miss God trying to do it the way he moved back in for that generation. All right, right. now. Right. 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 And so we have to understand that, amen, as people of God, uh-huh. especially in time people of God, All right, now. there has to be an embracing of change. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. Amen. yes. There has to be an embracing of change. Yes. And what happens when we don't embrace change, uh-huh. Uh-huh. that's because you have to embrace God. Uh-huh. Well, understand, ladies and gentlemen, uh, God is a God mm-hmm. that desires to change you more into Him. Yeah. I've never seen the Bible say, I rock. No, I said, uh, we change from daily. Mm-hmm. We die. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 When I'm talking about death. I'm speaking in essence of dying to self. Yes, yeah. Dying yes, to our yes, will. Yes. Yes. And as we uh, and die to our will, the only place that flesh and self can be crucified is being crucified in the very presence of God. Yes, all right. Yes, all right. Yes, all right. Yes, yes. All right. yes. yes. Flesh dies in the presence of God. Yes, 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 yes. yes. No presence. Yes. No death. Yes. No fire. Yes. No revival. Yes. Oh yes. No yes. change. Yes. No promotion. Yes. 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 And we, hallelujah, we get to the point where, hallelujah, when the enemy has established his kingdom in a place called religion. Yes. Amen. My God. And he has set up, amen, uh, 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 a system where people have pledged their allegiance to, but there's no change. All right, now. You're forever learning and not able to come into the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. That we are called by God to walk with him. Yeah. 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 The call that God has set upon your life is to walk with him. Adam began to walk with God. In the cool of the day, he began to talk with God. He communed with God. Understand something, ladies and gentlemen. That communion, uh, the word commune, is a spiritual organ. Well, yes. Come on. 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 Come all right. All right. And intuition is the ability, ladies and gentlemen, to receive revelation knowledge that has not come into your natural mind. Yes. 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 So, in other words, in order for us to commune with the Father, yes. 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 You have to go to Him. Come on. Faith. Yes. faith is a substance. Uh, it is a spiritual substance. Come on, somebody. Yes. The same kind of substance that created heaven and earth is a real substance. You are a product of the faith of God. Yes. It is not felt. Yes, yes, yes. Everything in the earth realm, in the universal realm, has been created by faith. God began to speak to the firm and said, Life be. And therefore, boom, the explosion. We call it the Big Bang Theory. Yes, 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 yes. Things begin to explode. And hallelujah. The things begin to formulate. And God began to speak to something. When he speaks to things, things begin to change. And it's a God kind of faith. They created heaven and earth. They created everything. Come on, somebody. Look at the book of Genesis, the first chapter, when you get a chance. He spoke to the prophet. Hey, come on, somebody. He began to speak when he created us. He spoke to himself. He said, let us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? Yeah. When he created this, he spoke. Yeah. So the same force, hallelujah, that we... Hallelujah. Have to get a revelation on its faith. We are faith people. Yeah, yeah. We are made in his image and his likeness. Amen. So when the word, the word of God goes forth, and then the faith has been imparted to you. Now faith is a substance thing go for the evidence of not being, the things not seen. Faith comes by hearing yeah, yeah. and hearing by the word of God. Yeah, yeah. I ain't talking about the logos, but I'm talking about the revelation. All right. All right. 
because I can preach to you Logan's word. I can preach to you man-made systems and doctrines, and there can be no substance. There can be no change. Come on, somebody. There can be no demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. It is because, amen, I can preach to you any kind of thing in the Bible. But when I begin to preach, but when God's people begin to preach, revelation, change takes place in your life. Importation takes place. Faith comes upon you, all right? And faith changes things around you. Therefore, that faith, and then it quickens your spirit up to go to God. Come on, somebody. And you can receive. That's why you can receive something from God. Because faith has the ability to put you in a place, hallelujah, that you can freely do those things that have been given to you. Know those things that uh, have been given to us. This is John Romans, second chapter. I mean, excuse me, Ephesians, the second chapter. Oh, Faith is a force and a source. But how can you hear unless the man of God or the woman of God has been sent? Well, Amen. Right now. how can you receive faith to operate in your creation? How can you receive faith to be the person that God has designed you? In other words, God said, I have already sent some people to unlock you. You will never be unlocked. Yes, yes, all right, all right. Until I first sent a person. Yes. All right, now. God does things in order. Come on, somebody. That's why he set up his system. I'm sending you because I've given some people some keys to the kingdom. What kind of you find on earth? This will be found in heaven. See, that scripture ties in. In other words, uh, Amen. Jesus Christ said, uh, 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 the rock, I will build my church upon this rock, upon this revelation. I will build my church in the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give it to you, the keys of the kingdom. See, understand something. You don't know those things that are, are rightfully given to you until you understand revelation. That's it. That's it. That's it. Amen. Well, mm-hmm. So God is given the apostle and the prophets of, and the five-four ministry keys to unlock your destiny. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, come on, come on. The thing is, hallelujah, we don't want to come into alignment, uh, amen, to God's authority. Come on, somebody. All right, come on, come on. Lord, have mercy. They got something they running at, and all of a sudden they hit brick walls. I've been there, I've done that. Come on, somebody. And yeah. other words, hallelujah, even though, come on, come on. God is sending people. He's raising up a real, a real generation. Let me tell you something. And in this generation, he's raising up that such, oh my God, a uh, 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 hurry up, uh, 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 yes, to raise up. God is sending people on the scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. God is sending people on the scene to raise up the army. That's right, that's right, that's right. The problem is, people are getting raised up. But we are cloning one another.